Hey everyone, this is Carnegie Gaming here back with another post commentary part for Crash Bash. And in this part, um, I'm in Warping 3 at the moment. Now, basically, I only got the Platinum Relics in two levels on my first go, and those were El Poco Loco, which I'm going to just now, and Snow Bash. Now, basically, the other levels I'll describe Embolism, complete and total nightmare for a Platinum Relic challenge. I'm not kidding you. Like, in the failed footage I had, like, I had at least a total combined footage of, like, one hour worth of failed footage. I'm not kidding you, like, um, I did it, like, earlier this afternoon and uh, actually earlier tonight as well, and I had, like, an hour's worth of failed footage in total. And, um, basically for El Poco Loco here, um, my strategies would be to avoid the TNTs at all times, that was a demonstration of me, like, um, avoiding the TNTs. Now, this first round was very close between me and Coco, and you'll see at the end, but uh, going on about the other levels, which I tried to get the Platinum Relics on, um, still talking about embolism. Um, now the computers are just absolutely smart in this, like nothing on earth. And engine is another problem in this level as well, because he instantly shoots like the, the balls at you. You have to keep an eye on this pattern because I noticed in some of the patterns it doesn't entirely switch about. It stays at the same pattern, you're just going to keep an eye on the pattern of where the balls are going, but it's very hard because there's a number of balls on the screen coming at you at once. But um, anyway, um, Mel Panic I tried as well and quite honestly it was just so hard to get the relic in that level because I remember having trouble before as I stated before it with the gold relic. I just barely got the gold relic and I was like, yeah, there was no way I was going to get the Platinum Relic on this. But as you can see here, I managed to get 22 points here, and now watch Coco score here. She got like 111, I'm thinking, oh shh, that was close. One point I won by, but the rest of them I won by quite a landslide. But, um, Melt Panic, now my strategy would be for Melt Panic, even though this is not Melt Panic. Um, I would say that um, for Uka Uka, um, uh, like, get the players to go into Ukuka's beam, then they can take advantage. Because they'll either be shrunk, they can get away, or they can be frozen or turned into a snowball. Um, and I think that's really it. Now, basically, as uh, as I said for the strategies for this, um, keep away from Ripperoo's TNTs and uh, avoid the missile attacks at all costs. And I, I do realise that the Platinum Relic challenges for these kind of levels could be so annoying due to the computers having this jump priority like, uh, like thing um, over you at, at some points. But um, it didn't really happen here, which is uh, quite thankful actually. Well, sometimes it did happen, but it didn't really happen to me like just so I would lose. But now, uh, when the, the four-way arrow comes out, get it immediately before the other players do, because it will get you a ton of points. As you can see, like, I've got over 100 points already, and the computers have not reached 100. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to win this one, so I might as well just sit back and just, maybe just watch me get the victory. But, um, I decided to stack up more points anyway, just in case I made a comeback. But, um, I wasn't going to kill on it anyway, because the timer was running out in 5 seconds, so there was no way for them to make a comeback. So I won with a good 153 points in the second round. Now, the third round... Again, it, it was quite a close one between uh, Rilla Roo and myself, but um, uh, it wasn't at the end, it was sort of near about the middle of the match, it was quite close. You can see right here, like, he's neck and neck with me of like 11, and I've got 13, and he's ahead of me at the moment with 19. And Coco, as well, is also ahead of me, so I needed to make some sort of comeback, and I did right here with 26 points after, like, um, like making a, a centre in the middle of, like, getting all those uh, squares coloured. Just like in, a, in uh, Pogo Agogo, except he didn't get the points for it, obviously, because like the uh, the exclamation mark boxes are back in this one. And um, basically, near the end of this round, Ripper Roo will um, uh, fire missiles in like random directions, so you've got to avoid them at all costs. Especially like if you're so close to winning, but if you if you're um, far away from the computers, if you've got a, like a huge score rack, then it doesn't really matter. Depending on what the computers will do now, as you see, um, uh, Rilla Roo and I like, um, landed on the same TNTs there, which is quite funny, I think. But um, it was funny here because I think um, I could have lost at this point, but um, luckily I did get another box which is at the top left corner with another 26 points, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to win this one with no problems. Even though I got the speed of boots, I still won that 136 points, a good amount of points. And I won the Platinum Relic first goal for El Poco Loco.
again, th th this that Relic Challenge wasn't too bad. Um, now the next one, Snow Bash. This one wasn't too bad either. Now, I'll explain the strategies like uh, as soon as uh, we get to the level. And um, now, basically, I think for Snow Bash, the strategy would be. Um, uh, well, the rules are as follows at first, like, you've got to defeat Brio, Dingo Down, and Kuala Kong again, and, like, the same, uh, it's the same players, nothing's changed. And, um, basically, excuse me, um, the main strategy here would be wake up the penguin. You have to wake up the penguin in order, because the compu uh, the penguin will be a huge favour when it comes to you defeating the computers. With a huge helping hand. Now, basically... The computers were acting a bit smarter than this than I thought, but they were being stupid again at the same time. Because you can see right there, uh, like um, earlier when Qualicon was taunting, and there, were, uh, there was a TNT uh, about to go off, and and he got caught in the blast. And um, basically, I was just keeping an eye on where I was going and stuff like that, and I woke up the penguin again with a TNT. Even though I could have used that against my opponents, and Koala Kong is now down, and Brio is down as well, so it's just down to me and Dingo Dial here. And basically, all, all Dingo Dial needed was a spin to um, kill him. Well, um, I hit him with a cray, even though he hit me, but um, I won the first round here. The second round, I thought, again, was actually. Um, it was actually quite silly, I think. I mean, especially when I mean, you look at Koala Kong and this Nitro, like, right beside him. Um, well, once he gets to it. He jumps on it and he just... <laughs> Again, I don't know why the computer is just act so stupid. And especially in these Platinum Rally Challenges. Even though they always aim at me in this, they just seem to just act stupid in this. Even though they're trying to act smart by getting me eliminated from this. Now, Brio was very good at keeping his health up, but until now. Because he lost quite a lot after getting hit by that TNT. And uh, I basically had to be careful of my health here, and that, that is another strategy again, obvious, like from the previous two levels, watch your health, because then um, you're losing a lot more than usual. And basically, another thing to do as well, if they taunt, take advantage of it immediately, because um, depending on how long their taunt is, as you can see, it was a game of cat and mouse here for Dingle because he knows he was going to die, so um, it was a, just a spin that I had to kill him with, and that was it. Second round obtained, and the third and final round, it was quite close. And basically, I got hit with a crate early stages, or two crates, should I say, in early stages, which wasn't good for me. And then um, there was a moment like where it was, where I was very, very close to actually losing. <laughs> Dingo Dow got eliminated early, and then um, Qualicom basically. Uh, uh, did something stupid again by jumping on the nitro and he died again by landing into another nitro. He loves his nitros, doesn't he? <laughs> now this bit here, um, coming up, um, there was a TNT that appeared in the in the bottom left corner right here. Now I was about to jump on it until a nitro just appeared out of nowhere. But um, basically, I won this round, and if and this is coming to the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, comment down below if you thoughts, and subscribe for more Crash Bash. Till then, this is Quantic Gamer signing off, and I'll see you later, and goodbye.